once you are going to call one of your best friend he or she simply replies he will not answer shortly you will get a message sorry i'm busy i'm in the safety meeting what is safety meeting why do we have a safety meeting so let's get started dear friends and colleagues safety meetings are an opportunity for management and your safety department to communicate to employees how they can do their jobs safer and better safety meetings are an effective way of providing continuous safety instructions and motivation safety meetings encourage safety awareness safety education safety training they help employees to come up with ideas and suggestions for preventing accidents and minimizing the hazards with which they are most familiar information passed on in a safety meeting has a purpose to stop you or your coworker from being injured you know very well accidents result from unsafe acts or unsafe conditions according to the safety experts for a variety of reasons unsafe acts typically account for 90% of all accidents safety meetings serve as a preventive measure against unsafe acts by educating employees on how they can do their job safely as a safety practitioner as a safety engineer safety manager or as a project manager if you are still lazy hesitating and showing slackness to conduct a participate in safety meetings just have a look at the potential cost of accidents more specifically how can accidents directly affect you accidents may lead to death the ultimate unwanted result here the most important question is where does this leave your loved ones accident may result in financial cost lost pay or reduction in pay who pays the bills who will pay the fee of your children are you the sole income producer in your family accidents definitely leads to pain and suffering an obvious determinant that no one desires accidents may lead to disability a life changing experience now you are not able to do what you used to do maybe now you can't cast that fishing rod ride that bike hug your wife lift your child or simply see or perhaps you are confined to a wheelchair goodbye prosperity fame name and career all together accidents may affect competitiveness on bidding jobs other than payroll and benefits worker compensation insurance and accident costs may represent the bulk of a company's operating expense when a company's operating expense increases they are then less competitive to bid jobs if your company is not awarded jobs where does that leave you accidents not only affect you but also your coworkers perhaps you and your coworker have been working together for some time now chances are you may spend as much time with your coworkers as you do your own family and that's the reason you obviously don't want something bad to happen to your coworkers watch out 
for their safety too. Dear friends and colleagues, safety meetings are a perfect opportunity for you to communicate any safety ideas or concerns that you may have. Participate in your safety meetings. If you don't participate, then your ideas will not be heard. Who knows, the idea that you have may very well save your co-worker's life or even your own. And you must understand, effective group safety meetings provide several benefits. Dear friends and colleagues, you are on the platform of safety first life. Today, I am discussing about safety meeting. What is the purpose of safety meeting? What are the benefits of safety meeting? How we can conduct a successful and effective safety meeting? If you are new on this channel, kindly subscribe it and press the bell icon for all future notifications. And if you find the video informative, share it with your friends, like and comment. Let us understand now what are the benefits of a safety meeting. Number one, they are time efficient. Several employees can be given the safety information and instruction. In roughly the same amount of time, it would take to meet with one employee individually. Number two, in a group, setting the concerns and questions of the group members can be addressed and answered to the benefit of all the group members. Management is assured all the group members are provided the same information and safety instructions. And this is the benefit of a safety meeting. Number three, group meetings can assist management in building a team attitude among the employees in the group. Number four, they help the supervisor to develop his presentation and leadership skills and increase his image in the minds of his employees as an effective leader and supervisor. Here the question is, how to make safety meetings effective? Dear safety practitioners, supervisors and managers, to make a safety meeting effective and achieve the desired benefits, it should be properly planned, scheduled, prepared for and presented in an effective manner. Here the question is, how is it possible? You have to memorize few important points. Point number one, typically each supervisor or a foreman will conduct a safety meeting for his gang or working crews. Point number two, the meeting topics should be applicable to the work, safety problems and hazards encountered by the employees in their work, in their routine and non-routine activities. Point number three, the meetings should be held on a regular basis. Management should decide on the frequency of the meetings. Weekly safety meetings are an excellent idea. Generally, safety meetings should be conducted at least monthly to obtain effective benefits and demonstrate management's commitment to an effective work safety effort and the prevention of accidents. Most construction contractors and many other businesses require weekly or more frequent safety meetings. Frequency of the meetings depends upon the nature of the project. Point number four, keep in your good mind one topic should be selected for each meeting and discussion should be restricted to that topic so employees will remember the safety information provided. With more than one meeting topic, the workers' retention of each topic is generally reduced. If workers bring up other safety problems, make a note of the problems. Tell the workers you will check into them after the meeting. 
and keep your safety meeting on track. Don't forget to check into the other problems after the meeting or your credibility will be shot with your workers. Point number five, the meetings should be kept short and within the allotted time frame. This encourages sticking to the one selected topic and doesn't permit the meeting to turn into a gripe, a bull session. Dear friends and colleagues, some situations may dictate additional safety meetings with a particular purpose for the meeting, a special plant or production project involving unique potential safety hazards is one example. In construction work, each new job presents its own unique set of safety hazards and work situations. A particular part or phase of a construction project may also present unusual and unique safety hazards. All these situations and others which will arise dictate the need for a safety meeting before this activity is undertaken to assure the safe work procedures and necessary safety precautions are understood by all the workers involved. It means you will not stick only on weekly or monthly. It depends upon the type of project, the nature of hazards and the phase of the construction work. You are on the platform of safety, first life. Today we are talking about safety meetings. Let us understand now how to prepare and conduct a safety meeting that should be effective and beneficial. Many supervisors and some managers may not be accustomed to and comfortable with the prospect of standing in front of a group are presenting and leading a group safety meeting. Others have perhaps never done it and feel lost in how to prepare and present a safety meeting topic. They have all the knowledge about the safety topic. They just feel they don't know what or how to present it. Here is the concept of the five P's. I will share it in the upcoming safety training session that will definitely help a supervisor, safety practitioner or a manager to develop his safety meeting presentations and conduct his meetings effectively, efficiently and with more confidence. Remember, this is part one of safety meeting and that's all for now. Training session is over. If you have any question, please ask in the comment section. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment and share the video. If you are interested to know how to structure and prepare a safety meeting presentation, then you have to wait for part 2 of safety meeting. Hope to see you soon. Till then, take care. Good luck and Allah Hafiz.